spotlight, a parent's worst nightmare. The desperate search continues for a missing second grader who simply vanished from school in broad daylight. Kyron's stepmom says she saw him walking down the hall to his class last Friday, but somehow the little boy never made it. No one knew he was missing until he didn't come home on the bus. It's enough to bring police, pardoned law enforcement, to tears. Kyron, we're gonna we're gonna bring you home, buddy. Um, nothing is more important to your family, your friends, and to us. Straight out to Jennifer Anderson, reporter with the Portland Tribune. She joins us by phone. Uh, Jennifer, you were at the last police news conference. Uh, by the way, as you talk, we're going to show video of some drawings that we just got in that were made by this missing boy who apparently loves to draw. Oh, and these nice. are, oh, look at that. Look how beautiful those drawings are. Oh, my gosh. Um, it just, it kind of you know, touches your heart and, and makes makes this oh, all nice the too. more gut-wrenching that this, this really adorable little boy is just nowhere to be found. What's the latest, Jennifer? Uh, it was definitely heartbreaking out there. Um, there were a whole bunch of media parked outside the school and uh, the parents and kids were just going about their day. But it is just shocking to um, know that something like this happened in a, in a quiet, tightened community such as Skyline Elementary. Well, set it up. What happened? Where, you know, was there a science fair? What happened? There was a science fair on Friday. It was open to all the kids and their families, and Kyron and his stepmom were there um, right before school started. Then his stepmom left, uh, waved goodbye, and said that she thought he was at school, but when he didn't come home on a school bus, she called 911, and he hasn't been seen since. Now, a lot of people are wondering why Kyron's family hasn't come forward to talk to reporters. Captain Gates offered this explanation. Let's listen. At this hour, um, it, they're not ready for that. And, but, and when they are, um, we, we want to get them, we'll get them in front of the camera or uh, help accommodate that prep process when it's appropriate for them. Uh, this photo was taken of Kyron on Friday, the very day he disappeared. Uh, there was a science fair going on. He was wearing a CSI t-shirt and dark cargo pants. Jennifer, what do we know about Kyron's family, in particular his biological mother? You said his stepmom dropped him off. What about his biological mother? His biological mother is Desiree Horman. She lives in Southern Oregon and um, came up immediately on Saturday when she heard the news. Um, apparently, the police say that, that she's talking with them, and um, she just hasn't come forward yet into the public spotlight, but they say that she will when the time is right. Uh, they're doing a whole bunch of searches right now. Is the theory that maybe he, he was on a science fair, got carried away, and decided to go out into the woods, or is this being treated as a kidnapping? It's not being treated as a kidnapping. They haven't uh, classified it but they, as such, but they also say that he's not the type of kid at all who would have wandered off um, into the woods. So no one really knows what happens at all. It's just so horrifying because for parents, you think, well, okay, he's at school, then I can stop worrying. And now it appears we can't, you know, parents can't even stop worrying when their kids are in school. And look at this angel. We, we hope. Thank you, Jennifer. No They've got to find him. Coming up, shocking new video.